Austin's got his new bunny. This is Buttera is what they named him, but he has named her Cookie. She is from the red jean pool, although she has a ruby-eyed white jean from her great-great-grandmother. So we're hoping that maybe we will by chance get a ruby-eyed white when we end up breeding her with Yeti, who is a ruby-eyed white. So it will be interesting. There's a lot of interesting genes in her gene pool. So really excited about that. Here is a list of her gene pool. And over here, her great-great-grandmother, somewhere in there, is a ruby-eyed white. Fancy. Oh, fancy. <laughs> From uh, Reba's Fancy Song. That's funny. Love that song. Anyway, she is very, very pretty and long for three months. She's born on October 10th for a three month old. She's awfully big or very long anyway, it looks like, but maybe because she's just stretched out and relaxed. She's been handled a lot according to the lady that sold her to us. She had grandchildren. She's been in the cage with her mom until we got her. So she was contemplating keeping her, but she decided to go ahead and sell her which I'm glad she did because it worked out really good for us. She's in a bad need of a comb and so we'll get that done today and get her all brushed out, get her cleaned up. She's been outside in a uh, rabbit barn, but now she will be inside and we'll get her litter trained like um, Yeti is. So Yeti's doing a lot better today. Update on Yeti's potty training. This is, let's see, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. This is day four. He, there was, uh, he had peed in the floor this morning when I woke up, but uh, there was no poo in the floor, so that's a good thing. Actually, no, I take that back. He had not peed in the floor. He peed in the floor last night, and I put a, I cleaned it with uh, bleach water, and then I laid a potty pad where he, keeps going to pee and he didn't pee there at all overnight or this morning that's what it was so hopefully he'll stop using that spot I tried to put a little table or something over there in the corner where he was at try to detour him from using the bathroom there he just used it right next to it all I did is just create another corner so <laughs> that didn't work but anyway we'll just keep trying but he's doing really well overall so I'm really proud of his progress a little here and a little there is not near as bad as all day long so we'll just have to keep watching him and see and just try to break that habit but now we got us two little bunnies yeah I already have somebody wanting one of their babies when uh, we end up breeding them, which will be down the road a little ways, but he gave me his number and said, call me when you breed them, because I want one. He said, they are so beautiful, so we shall see how that goes, but I think she's beautiful. I love her color. I love that shade of fawn. It's what they call fawn color, but oh, it's so pretty. I love the way the colors go from a dark to a light. It's very, very pretty. But she's getting close to that uh, shedding age, so it'll be interesting when we start cutting all the knots out. It may end up just having to completely trim her hair down and start her from scratch. She hadn't been combed, I think she said, since before Christmas, so probably pushing two weeks. And she does have a lot of knots in there, so we will work on that in a little while. Don't want to do too much and first day she's come home with us, so we'll do a little here and a little there. Don't want to stress her out. But uh, that's Yeti, and that's my sleeping son. It's, it was a two-hour drive to go get Yeti, so 
he is sleeping away. <laughs> it, I zoomed out. There you go. <laughs> I zoomed in with my finger on the side of the phone. But that's my two little bunnies. But don't forget to subscribe and like. And I will have some more updates on Yeti and uh, Cookie. <laughs> or butter rum, whatever you want to call her. Have some more updates on them and their upcoming breedings, and hopefully, eventually, we'll have some uh, baby bunnies to show.